Philadelphia. John Neese snapped a personal four game losing streak with seven strong innings. And John is standing by with Kevin Burkhart. Kevin. They sure did, Gary. Uh, let me ask you first the short rain delays, 25 minutes. Does that affect you at all as a pitcher with, with that type of delay? Um, not that short. Um, if it gets like 45 minutes or more, then, then yeah, because then you have to go down in the bullpen, re, uh, throw another bullpen. And, uh, you just never have your same stuff. You know, so here it was yesterday. You, you, you get a win, which is the most important thing. And after the game, you're like, well, yeah, it didn't really feel so great doing it. So, so how did you get through it then? If it wasn't, it wasn't feeling like your best stuff, if you didn't feel terrific, how did you find a way to get through it and do what you did? Um, just have to locate. Um, you know, when you don't have your best stuff, you have to become a pitcher. And uh, when, it, uh, when you're feeling good, sometimes it just feels like you can blow up by guys. But, um, you know, Yesterday was one of them examples. I didn't have my best stuff, and you know, just had to locate and you know executed a pitch when I needed to. And Flores flies out, so there's one away against Fister. Any difference for you, first few innings against the last few innings, and, and how your body felt and how you tried to, to locate? Um, body feels good. Um, you know, just sometimes the arm is not you know as strong. You know, as, as late in the game is like a, as I start off, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I have no idea what the reason for, it, but. Um, just working out, you know, just trying to stay consistent with my uh, workouts in between starts and, you know, hopefully I have my good stuff. John, how hard is it when you are cruising along, which pretty much you were, and then you get hurt and you go on the shelf for a couple of weeks and you got to come back and get back into your groove and, and find your groove? I mean, just how difficult can that be to kind of, you know, get back to where you were? Yeah, it's tough um, because, you know, taking, what was it, two or three weeks off, it's tough because uh, because I was in a pretty good groove there, um, and the first outing uh, after I got off the DL, um, I was really sore. So I could tell that I hadn't been out there in a while. And, yeah. Um, it, it took a while to build build back up, but now I feel pretty good. Do you feel any kind of responsibility? I mean, you're you're you and Dylan are veterans around here. Do you feel any responsibility with so many younger guys or at least inexperienced guys to kind of? I don't know, lend a hand or kind of instill some knowledge and, and be that leader of the staff? Yeah, it's it's very important for him and I uh, pretty much just to lead by example and have the young guys who want to watch what we do go about our business the right way. And, um, you know, if they, you know, they usually come to us, you know, if they need anything and we do our best to help them out. You know, can you put yourself in Montero's spot here with two away against Fister? What does this feel like for him? You know, it's the second time he's back, but he's so so little experience. Do you trust your stuff when you're this young in your big league career? And do you, do you trust in what you have that it can get major league hitters out? Um, it's really tough um, because you know when I was a rookie, um, it's kind of it was almost like I was afraid of contact. Yeah. Um, but you know it's real important, you know, especially with his kind of stuff, not to be afraid of contact, go after hitters. Um, but I mean, even though it's you know his what third start, he's still. I'm sure he still has some butterflies, but uh, yeah, and you know he'll get over that. And once he gets over that, realizes that you know he's really good. Um, you're going to see him uh, pitch well, like Wheeler and Degrom are doing. Congrats on the win. Thanks for the time. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, thanks, guys. Meanwhile, Fister.